What's up guys, this is Ashnox. Thanks a lot to Infinite Kingdom for sponsoring this video. In this video, we have some PvP, we have City Siege, we have also Rally Attacks. So I'm gonna be explaining this stuff to you guys. By the way, I have a code, it's Ashnox, of course. You get three advanced summons, you can download the game using my link in the description of the video. This is the fourth video in a series. My power, my strength has been growing tremendously and i'm gonna be showing you what my uh, main team looks like near the end of the video when we get into pvp this is city siege right here with my alliance tkg we're just attacking this level six city it is the nyx city so you have to attack together and you break the walls so you keep attacking the walls all around and after that, you have to launch a bunch of attacks toward their troops, and they have a lot of them. So here, I'm just applying some boost to be able to deal more damage, and we are actually destroying that wall. It's going real well for us. In terms of strategy, well, just keep attacking with your main team, activate some boost. What you can do as well is switch your talent maybe with a uh, offensive uh, setup so uh, a setup using the talents on the right side in red and gonna be able to push your offensive power even further so that's definitely a strategy another thing is that of course if you're able to um, get there before the rest of your alliance you'll have a better spot which means that what i mean by that is that your position will be closer to the city which means you don't need as much ap to actually march and attack the city and it's also going to be faster which means you're going to be able to launch more attacks so in terms of strategy you should have your stronger alliance members around the city because they're going to be able to launch attacks more often and your troops will be injured right like if your troops are injured you need to heal them in the hospital but you know it takes time to do that so maybe players that are not as strong, you know, their army is not that powerful, uh, their lord level is lower, stuff like that. What happens is that they might not be able to, well, they're not going to be able to deal as much damage, first of all. Another thing is that, well, they might be running out of resources. So if they run out of resources, they're not going to be able to heal uh, their troops, the injured troops. They're not going to be able to uh, create more troops, right? So you need to have a nice reserve of resources saved to actually be able to do that. Also, if you want to speed it up and really do it fast, because like this is a timed attack. You have 15 minutes to make it happen when you siege a city. And uh, so you need resources saved up. You need to have speed up uh, saved up. So like you want to instantly heal like thousands of troops. You want to create uh thousands of troops and also you need to have a bunch of reserve troops saved right you need to have double the amount of bowmen compared to your frontline uh troops because you use two uh two immortals will have bowmen in the back and in the front it's going to be between three different types hence why you should have double the amount of uh, bowmen and i talked about like doing the research and powering up bowmen more so than the one in the front so you can see we captured the city we were able to just destroy the wall real quick and after that we just attacked a bunch of times there was a number in four different spots and that means it's the amount of uh, you know uh troops set up that the city has that you need to launch attacks against and you need to win these battles i believe that if you don't win you at least were, uh, were able to weaken that uh, troop and then uh, another attack will just take uh, that one down so here we're doing a rally attack with my alliance and this th there was an event where you're able to get an item that you can activate and it will uh, place a human rebel camp and against this camp there's different levels right it, it's like there's different items it's like green blue uh, purple for higher quality means har harder battles right so you rally attack so what happens is that when all five of your alliance members joining the rally attack, uh, they will gather at, at the person that started the rally's um, the position of their uh, kingdom, right? 
After that, when the timer is done or you press the part, all the army will march, all the troops will be marching toward uh, that place. It could be, you know, it could be a player, it could be a, an event where you want to attack a, a certain place, or like in this example, you know, it was a, a human rebel camp. And uh, here I'm just showing the battle that was from my side, right? There's different, there's different uh, troop groups that needs to be defeated but uh every player fights against one and you're basically working together to take out the whole camp out and then everyone receives rewards so it's a pretty cool mechanic you know not everyone's going to be on the same power level so you can have some stronger alliance members helping out some weaker ones uh, de especially defe defeating like stronger uh you know camps and stuff like that so you can set how long you have to wait for everyone to rally so basically it will launch the attack automatically so you can set like an hour if you want to be super safe especially when you don't have all your alliance members really close to each other like when you're trying to do a city siege or for a special event something like that so you need to give them time to not only join the rally but you also need to have time for them to actually join uh, and really get to your kingdom and rally so you, they can like all attack at the same time and it will be happening automatically when the timer elapses right the time elapses so uh, that's really good so you can just like close the game and come back and it will just have happened and you need to give time to you know your alliance members to actually join uh, not everyone's online at the same time unless you schedule it and you tell them like be on at that time and we're gonna like attack a city together and you can set like points on the map you can send you know mail you can really like it simplifies things to get all your alliance members on uh the same page right to to do certain events everyone was able to get the rewards and uh, it is definitely rewarding and of course you do lose troops you get troops that are injured the ones that are injured you need to you know uh, heal them at the hospital but the one that go down you no know, they die so basically you just need to make more troops uh, so in the training ground, you can see like the one that are usable. That is the troops that you can actually use to refill your your ar different armies of different like elements. And my lightning team is definitely my main team. My second one is earth. My third one is water. And now I'm actually working on holy slash uh, you know shadow. Um, I have Gilgamesh. He's really cool. Uh, I tried to put him in my lightning team, but finally I was able to. Uh, max out Genghis Khan so now I have my my main team is full lightning working real well and it's strong against earth which is still the meta uh, for me on my server so my thinking was like I said in other videos is that I'm gonna be building lightning because pretty much everyone right uh, in the top is building earth and now I'm in the, the top 10 in arena and I'm doing real well for myself I don't even have healing part of my army I, my two immortals in the back are damage dealers physical damage dealers i got one of the frontliner is a physical damage dealer and i got like a tank right and it's working well there's a lot of damage that i'm able to dish out with this team and uh in pvp like it's so much damage here i was just like you can attack troops you can raid so it automatically attacks um, a camp, a gnome camp, and then you can get equipment, you get a currency that you can use to power up equipment, and uh, you can just set the raid to happen, and it will just do it automatically. You can see the damage of my immortals, it's really high, you can see the breakdown for various, like their skill, or maybe their custom skill that I equipped on, the, uh, on my immortals, and uh, some of them are better at dealing AoE damage, hitting everyone, like Genghis Khan, uh, and some of them are better at single target damage, um, so yeah, uh, like Peter the Great in the front, uh, Yi Song Gi is good at dealing damage versus two targets, stealing uh, some of their attack, uh, some uh, you know defense as well. And uh, he really like uh, kind of snowballs in the battle. He's uh, performing like really well. This is my city. This is my power. Now it's uh, it's a month and a half in to the game. I was of course provided with uh, resources from the Infinity Kingdom team. To help me out and thanks a lot for that and you can see here my dragon my my lightning dragon look how crazy awesome he looks uh he's uh, level 27 it looks like it takes a while to uh, you know bring the levels up at that point and uh, you can see here my main team yisong gi 
I mean, seven star, I got Richard one working real well together, dealing tremendous damage. You can see my gear is purple or uh, orange, so it's boosting my power. You can see my immortal power is really high, over 20,000 on uh, my immortals, and also I can have a high amount of troop numbers with each immortal because of my castle level, you know, uh, there are a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of th stuff that affects that. You know, it could be the level of the immortal. It could be the equipment. It could be the boost that I have on my immortals. Um, the star up. And I have a custom, a bunch of custom skills on my immortals as well. Like Gilgamesh, I tried him in my main team. He deals a lot of damage. I really like him, but I'm going to have to have him on my second team, which is actually my earth team. But you, you really need to invest into your main team. It's such... A major difference if you pull all your resources into your main team a strong element versus maybe what's uh, really popular in the meta meta is most effective tactic available you should definitely check out my other three videos that i covered uh, different things in the game if you don't understand maybe some of the stuff i'm talking about right because I, I broke down a lot of the stuff and you can see here i'm fighting in the arena what's really cool is that you can do instant battles and then you can go back and check the replay uh, so that is real cool. You can there's a lot of statistics. You know exactly how much damage each immortal is doing. You know exactly how much damage you are dealing with certain skills. So you can do some pretty crazy stuff. And the amount of customizable uh, customizability of your team is insane because of the tower of knowledge, unlocking different custom skills that you can equip on your immortals, really opening up a wide range of strategies. Right, so my team is super heavy on physical. Um, it's not the best because maybe mixing magical and physical together will be best because you can have the better skills for magical and the better skills for physical on different immortals. So that's something I'm gonna work toward. But you can see my damage is like tremendously high. And with my main lightning team, I'm able to defeat like all uh, their different teams. Because in the arena, you can have in starting in season two, the first season, it's only one team players can set. But in the season two, you can have up to three teams set up. So I always put my Earth as the first team, like a bait, softening up their team maybe first, testing the waters. And then my main team, my big team, Lightning, is the second one. I don't have a third team. I don't want to inflate my power. So when they see how much power I have, they're like, oh, he doesn't have much power, but I only have two teams set. Some players like to set just one team. But since my Earth is fairly strong, I got the Earth first and then the Lightning it's working well for me. A lot of players are trying to attack me and their attack fail. I win. So my rating goes up. I'm winning a lot of defenses. So that's pretty cool right there. But yeah, like I said, like Earth is meta. Most effective tactic available. And Lightning is stronger versus Earth. So you can see like my team is still standing after all these waves of attacks. They're still there. Their health is going down. But they're still standing strong here and doing a ton of damage. Like... Man, Genghis Khan is just doing a bunch of AoE attacks. You can see, like, it's really piling up. It's adding up. Uh, my dragon helps early on, um, but after that, not so much. But there's a passive increase of stats that do build up. Uh, different dragons, different things that they can do. But it's definitely a uh, pretty important part in your team. Uh, running a 4 or 5 of the same element is what you want to go for. So you get as much offensive power as possible. You can see the breakdown here. You know, uh, yeah, like I said, Earth, very, very popular. That's why I had to deviate from that plan and not just follow the meta. Because, you know, when you have element uh, stronger than other elements, you just got to play the card of like building something stronger than what most players are going with, which is going to be Earth. In lower ranking, it might be Water. So yeah, Earth is stronger than Water, but then... When a big brain it, you go lightning versus earth. But then wind is stronger than lightning. So, like, you got to be careful, too. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it's not like wind is popular at all right now. But later on, things will be changing. The meta will always change. So, you have to worry about that. But I feel safe with lightning for quite a long time anyways. Uh, so, yeah, that's really cool. And then maybe I'm going to start working on maybe a wind or... Uh, I'll have to see. I'll have to see. Uh, so I'm going to have to like uh, figure out something that like how the meta is going to shape up to be. And I'm going to try to counter that um, again or try to predict it so I can counter it. You can see, man, like Genghis Khan, the last damage dealer, he deals so much damage from his AoE. It's ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, really happy with the performance 
of my team. Uh, but yeah, let us know what you guys think about all that in the comment section. Thanks a lot to Infinity Kingdom for sponsoring this video. Use my link in the description to download the game. Mashallah, good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.